Like, I don't- I know that Garchomp's the right play. Like, Garchomp's the right play. Garchomp, right play. Mabostiff. He's gonna carry us if we need him to. He's gonna be my shining star. It's not good here, dude. We can't- I, For content! For content, Mabostiff. For content, we use Mabostiff. Garchomp fucking rolls this shit. But, Mabostiff. We'll see if we can make some wins up. Why Scyther? It gets um, a bunch of really cool stuff and, a fl and flying typing. Trick Room Entity is legal. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if Trick Room Entity is legal. What was that quote that we said that we needed to use with the Entity? What was the quote? It was like a freaking, not the hero we needed, but the hero we deserve. The hero we needed. The hero we deserve. I'm gonna try this. This is gonna be sick, by the way. Mabostiff! Who are you hitting with this, by the way? Please hit the Mabostiff. One million times. It's true. It was a good video. I hope that they final gambit the Mabostiff. Okay, show me the final gambit. I mean, I know you're defiant, you know, but like, show me the final gambit. Final gambit, my bow stiff. Yes! Yes! It's gonna work! This is gonna be so fucking sick. By the way, we're imprisoning its hyper voice. Oh, it imprisoned my imprisoned. Hey, cool, that's fine, that's fine. I'm not trick rooming. I'm surprised they're faster than me, by the way. <laughs> I can't imprison with my imprison. <laughs> All right, I wanna, I wanna see if I can click hyper voice. We haven't lost yet. I wanna see if they send out Garchomp. Gold Ango. This is okay. All right, I wanna see what moves are imprisoned. And Trick Room's imprisoned, I'm sure. Yep, can't use it. It's sealed. Hyper voice sealed. All right, so we know three of its moves. So it's imprisoned, Trick Room, Hyper Voice, probably Deagling. We could pivot in there if we wanted to. That's, I'll just take the L on the Mabostiff. We'll just go for the follow me, it's fine. And this. I can't believe they're faster than me. I cannot believe they're faster than me with that uh, giraffe. I wanted to be faster than them. Let's go Mabostiff! Let's do this! What? Ah! Never lucky. I mean, hey, if I take out the giraffe, if I take out the giraffe, Yes! I took out something. Okay. Hey, we can make this work. We can make this work. Yay! I will now show you my special skill. <laughs> That's funny. Mabostiff! I'm no longer imprisoned. The shackles that hold me. All right, let's think. Watch this shit. <laughs> bro. The degeneracy, bro! This would never win regionals, I know, right? Open team sheet. Terra flying, right? Terra steel, okay. Rock slide? Stompy Tantrum would be your best bet. Let's see it. We take those. Yeet! The villain! 
Shows his face! Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is bullying. Oh, uh, dude. Returns. We got on psychic terrain. Two. I don't see a reason not to. Do we just tear a normal here? I'm hyper voicing, we definitely know that. And then like We just have to hit this heat wave. It's really important. Alright. That was cancelled! Dude. <laughs> oh, never win at regionals though. One of these days we'll use Scyther. Scyther hasn't got a chance to shine yet. Rank five of the world, bro! If they beat me with the, if they beat me, they're probably rank one. If they beat me, they are probably rank one. My bow stiff. Can we go Scyther here? Dude, we can. I can use my Scyther. I can find a Ryu Scyther. I'm gonna use these guys though. I could use Scyther in this matchup. Scyther is actually pretty pog, I'd say. But I'm gonna go with these. Rank five in the world. That's what this guy's rank is. This guy's like, what the hell is this? He's like, why is there, why is there a Rever Room and a Scyther and a Mabo Stiff? What's the trick? What's the trick? Trick these. <laughs> I actually would love to see Sylveon. I think if they weed Sylveon, this is going to be the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen. If they weed Sylveon, dude, we are going to pop off so hard. Like, Sylveon Arcanine? That'd be great. Sylveon Mouscarada, also okay. Sylveon Dozo? I want to see the Sylveon weed, which is why we're weeding the Indity. I think it's really important. Prankster Slacking? Well, I mean, like, slacking. I mean, that sounds okay. Sylveon! Yes! Dude! Okay, so I think the way this team works is they actually go big onto Sylveon in this matchup, expecting me to, like, redirect, and then they actually pivot out for, like, an Arcanine. Awesome. So we're just we're gonna put a stop to that. We're just gonna, we're gonna put a nice little stop to that Sylveon. Nice little stop to that Sylveon. Sylveon! So gone! And he is oblivious, no, um, unaware? Whatever, what's his ability? He has what I'm talking about. We just trailblaze it. I hope it's not policy. I'm doing, I'm doing this, man, I'm doing this. I've been wanting to do this all day. Oh, let's go. Pivots out Bozo, right? Show me that hyper voice! Show me hyper voice! Show me hyper voice! Show it to me! You gotta be slower than me, though. You gotta show me hyper voice, me slower. Let's fucking go, bro! <laughs> that's sick. <laughs> like, that's so freaking cool, man. Show you what a real hyper voice looks like now. Rank five in the world. Get rocked. I'm so happy that that fucking worked. I'd be so angry if I was that guy. Dude, outskilled. Would never work open team sheet preview thingy. We're doing this just so we don't get one-shotted by knockoff. There's a protect. Hyper Voice still gets good damage. They can yawn. My bow stiff. There's no reason to crunch anything else, so. Hyper Voice is gonna do like 20-30% of that Sylveon. Who needs expanding force when you just have Hyper Voice? It's just good damage. 
Yeah, she's good damage. Standard damage in Sylveon. Misty Train, dude, that's actually really clean. That's really clean, actually. It's there to make it so you can't burn the, the uh, unaware guy back there. Same play. Misty Terrain looks just like Psychic Terrain. <laughs> I want to see what the uh, Meow Scarada does. They can totally go for like a U-turn or something. They can even start quick attacking with that Sylveon. I don't know if they have it. It's probably like... I wish it was a spec set, but it's not. Who's coming in here? If it's Tatsu, it's dead. If it's Dozo, it's going to take a lot of damage on this pivot. Tatsu's just dead. Okay, that's a good play. That's such a good play. I like that. They're pivoting both so they can get the Dozo in there. And that's actually going to make me miss my crunch. I like that a lot from them. Hey, that's a great pivot. Like, this person's deserving of rank number five in the world, I would say. They're definitely deserving of rank number five in the entire world. I want to see if they have lefties. We don't have a Haze user in this team. Yep, good play. So let's think about what we need to do here. I know my win condition. Like, I know what it is. It's lefties, too. That's going to be hard to deal with. I think you just save these two back here. I hope they hit the Mabo stiff, but we'll see. I want to save my energy to reapply Psychic Terrain so I can go for Expanding Force. Decent damage. Earthquake. Okay. Freaking dead. Dead Dozo. Like, dead. So dead. All right. We could Wide Guard. I'm going to send the entity back out. And I think I will just lock the Imprison up, just to be able to lock uh, the Sylveon from hypervoicing, I think. Let me think about that. Do I care? Like, we don't need to do any damage. Actually, I like the hypervoice play. This is going to hit the Tatsu. Let's go, my bow stiff! Show me that EQ! EQ, EQ, baby! EQ, EQ! You gotta kill me, though, bro! You gotta kill me, bro! Oh, yes! That's what we like to see out here! Let's go! Bozo! Nice. Big damage. Single target. Double dip. That's a lot of, that's enough damage to basically two-shot it. Okay. It's gonna be Mouscarada here, right? I could have trick-roomed there. I don't know if it's the right play. That's why I didn't do it. Yeah. Knock off with Oko. Oh, I think they got me. I should have trick roomed. I should have trick roomed. That's my fault. I should have trick roomed. That's completely, completely my fault. I messed this one up. I messed this up. Ah! Okay, I guess I could trick them up. They messed up too. Knock off will probably kill my entity, but then like we can just, uh, let's see if they actually protein. Knockoff's fine. Like, I have to lose it. Yep. It's neutral damage here. That's crazy. And I don't even have an item. That's the thing that's so nuts about that.
Heat Wave might actually kill that Totsu. Oh, I should have trick him that last turn instead of like hyper voicing. Like if we actually had that trick him up at the end of that last turn, that would have been so sick. Have to do it like this though. We have to actually like dodge a Hydro on the Tatsu. That's like the only out that we have. We have to dodge Hydro or Muddy Water. Sylveon's also kind of a problem here. They haven't Terrid yet either. Hmm. I should have just Trick Room. That would've been so sweet. I KO the Bozo and I get the Trick Room up. And then I bring out the Armor Rouge, like, already set up. We can just double-click the Expanding Force Hyper Voice. It's been so good. The, pa the fact that they're pivoting is actually so good for me. Like, I can't deal with all these moms. They're trying to try and wait at my Trick Room, and, like, it's not going to work. Protect there is completely fine. I'm walking my... I'm going to use Heat Wave for the next two turns anyways. Another thing's gone. So we just have to hit Heat Waves into the Sylveon. Got to hit our Heat Wave. Yep. Burn it? Okay, no burn. It's okay. This is so fucking greedy. If they were to pivot in the Tatsu on the Heat Wave and then save their Mascarada and come about Protect, I'm actually clicking Expanding Force because this will KO the Sylveon and it would actually kill the Tatsu and then they bring out the Mascarada and I just double click Expand or Heat Wave and I win. Show me. Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, the reads, the conditioning, the plays for days. I gotta KO the Sylveon though. Misty Train. Oh, it's faster than me! Oh, sorry, it's slower than me. No! That was such a good play from them then. Ah! Damn! Damn, that's a speed reduced Sylveon. It's speed reduced. It's the only way it's that slow. Good play from them. I like that. That was so smart. This is a crazy game. Now they're going to be able to wait out my Trick Room. Trick Room has two turns. This is a really weird looking play. I think you have to do this. This is a weird looking play. You have to trick room and read them trick rooming. Like read them, I want to read a protect. I want to read a protect. And then I'm trick rooming my trick room here a turn early. And then next turn they can miss a hydro and I trick room again and they get a five turn trick room. We can soak the damage from Sylveon through all this. Okay, they could have, I didn't do anything wrong then. So. Ugh, close game! Rank 5 player in the world! Rank 5 in the world! Oh, we even, like, that Misty Train was really, really good tech. That was clean. Hey, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Ah, So close. Mabostiff, Reverum, like, the memes. You guys probably got rank 1 off that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with these guys as the lead. Stops both, of, basically stops everything that I could think of. And you guys like the Mabo stiff, right? <sighs> Alright. Let's see what they want to do. 697 rank in the world. That's where our opponent is. It's crazy. Crazy! Hmm. Let's see. So Titan's actually really good against our team. Astoria. What do you guys think they're gonna do? What is the tech this guy's gonna bust out? Does your rank go up faster if you beat someone who's farther up the ladder? Yep. You get it's all point system. So like even on Pokemon Home, you can actually go and check a lot of the points value so like right now i'm probably in about the 17 or 1800s i think you can just fly guard this like what are you gonna do veil veil's good here there's nothing, nothing wrong with that i almost actually used the ice terra on my cereal edge just for garchomp or armor rouge i almost did That's what they want to do. If they have stopping cantrip, they can do it. 
rock slides, what I would assume. Blizzard blocked. Cool. Stalma Tantrum, I don't think, KOs us in one hit unless they're orbed or they crit. Now we lost the last one. Very, very close. Rank 5 player outplayed us at the end. EQ. Dude, they just EQ'd their own Abomas. No. <laughs> Not bad, bro. TY. Appreciate it. These, this lead is so dumb. This lead is so dumb. TY. Okay. Let's think about what we need to do here. The That's Scarf Obama Snow, by the way. So he's pivoting. I could probably get away with, like, tearing here, but I don't think we should, I don't think we have to. It's fine. Maybe just a little bit more damage to Garchomp, and, like, they might be bested anyways, so it's fine. Battle's canceled. Take those wins. Do you see why I say, like, this lead, like, is so dumb? It ruins every sort of, like, flowchart ever. Trick Room. Okay, watch this. I see your Trick Room and raise you. Indy D. <laughs> Let's see, who do I want to pair with it, though? Is it my Bostiff time? Oh, it is. It is indeed my Bostiff. Still going to make the here. Do we want Reverum? Actually, Scyther's, like, not bad here. I think you bring Rev Room just in case they get a Trick Room, but like even if they did, no, you gotta bring Amarouge. All right, here we go. Let's go. Show me that Trick Room. Show me that Trick Room, and I will show you in prison. I'm not the hero we deserve. I'm the hero that we needed. I have imprison on my Indie to stop you from using Trick Room. Match made in heaven. They're just thinking about it. They could go... So, this is a loss for them. Like, watch what happens. Like, there's nothing that they actually have here that gets them the win, in my opinion. I think. They they might be able to maybe get something done with the Torkoal, but I doubt it. Like, I got, I got, I got flowcharts for days. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they want to do. Entity Cold's not, not that great here. Uh, Entity Cold's not that great because we can just follow me away the after you. And, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. If they just want to go try, if they want to try and trick her, this is going to be a bad time for you, son. Mimikyu Lucario. Cool. So they have final gambit strats. They have the final gambit. Because it's the final gambit. Ba-da-ba-ba. So you can get up your Trick Room, and then bring your Torkoal. But then you can't fight my Armor Rouge. Right? I think we just pivot in there, right? Because you're going to get up the Torkoal, but then I'm going to switch in my Armor Rouge, probably. So, like... The, the Lucario has, like... They, they, they got this. They're Scarf. So we're going to switch that in there. And, and there's no real reason to trailblaze, right? We actually want to underspeed that Mimikyu if possible. Should do it like this then. So we don't need to trailblaze right now. There's the final gambit. Yep, we don't die. Which is okay. Like, we don't need to die right now. And then they're like, ha! I will now get up my Trick Room. Which is good. Okay. Don't think I'm out yet. We still got shots, boys. It's like, yes, I got up my Trick Room. Okay. Sun mucho harsh. Show me that Orin Guru. Hari. Not bad, not bad. Hari, good choice. Terra Torkoal. Okay. Mm. 
my bow stiff. It doesn't bother me they all take place at the same place. Alright, so let's think about this. We need to go with Serral Edge, right? I think that Torkoal's specced. I really, really think that it's specced. There's the Flame Orb. Oof, that's going to be dangerous. Do this guy. I don't know if they just, like, Oko the crap out of my armor rouge here. They might. They really just, like, close. Like, w knockoff might just kill my ass. Does Harmon get knockoff? I think it does, yeah. If that Torkoal specs, we can win. But if they're Earth Powering us, we probably lose. We need to get the Hariam off the board this turn. If they Y guard us and Eruption, they're hitting our Maspa stiff, but it's not like losing us the game. And they're taking chip damage from their Flame Orb at the same time. So like, there's gonna be bad things. Hope they don't try and fake out. Oh dude, there's a Psychic Terrain, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that, bro. Eruption? That's a Flash Fire proc. Cool. Yeah, and it, it gets our Sash ready to go. Cool beans. Sash is up on my bow stiff. Expandees! Big damage! Big damage! Goodbye, Hariyama. Goodbye, Torkoal. Nice trick room, bro. Was it worth was it worth it? Was it everything you thought it would be? Was the trick room everything you thought it would be? All right, this is actually an important turn. There are two turns left in TR. We can actually just go with the uh, expanding. We don't want to miss a heat wave. And like, we could protect here, but we underspeed them. Now, I don't like going to worlds. Worlds is too much stress. We take those wins though.